we're doing limited network studies and uh, we did some uh, examples. It was the same network we did it in different ways. Okay, and uh, then we had this network, okay, which has uh, 10 points and one of them is control. The first table represents the control and then we have nine other locations. So for the control, you can see three days of data for the other location, there's just a sample. Okay, what was the first step you were supposed to do in this? Convert to four hours. So, who did it? You did it? Why? You didn't go to Wapa? You didn't? Okay. <clears throat> so we have what now? We have the day and then we have 8 to 12, 12 to 4 and 4 to 8. Monday, tell me. 3200. 3, 2, 3, 7. 3, 7. 3, 7, 3. The others can start doing the total. Okay, I will need the total as well. Tell me. 3520. 3, 3, Wednesday. 4267. 3840. 5330. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, one zero five six zero. Next. One one four one three. One three double four zero. One three double four zero. Okay. Now we'll do the average of this. Tell me. Okay, now using the average and the total of each day, we will calculate adjustment factors of each day. So adjustment factor is the average divided by the traffic. If I'm doing it for Monday, then traffic of Monday. Okay, so how much is that? One point. One two next. The average will not, average will not change. The daily traffic will change. Zero three. Next. Zero point eight seven. Okay. Eight eight. Big problem. Okay, now we have total of each day and we have the four hour traffic as well. Okay, we have the total and then each day has these three values as well. Okay, so using that, using these values, we will, we will uh, calculate what we call as expansion factor, factors. Okay, so I will do it for each day and time. So Monday is three times, eight to 12, 12 to four, four to eight.
okay expansion factor is you will take the total of the day which is this value okay and the hours the value for those hours will be divided by the total okay so if i'm doing it for monday 8 to 12 then i will take the traffic of monday 8 to 12 divide by the total of monday which is this one how much okay next total for monday and the traffic for 12 to 4 okay now for tuesday you will take the traffic from tuesday so the first four hours divided by the total of tuesday which is this one how much three one next Okay, now using these factors, we will calculate for the other stations. Okay. So I have station, I have nine other stations. First of all, uh, yeah, I need the four hour values for these nine stations. Okay, so again, these values must be converted to four hours as well. You did it. Hmm. What? Yeah, yeah. Say it together. Two zero. <laughs> Two seven. Three four one three. Three four one three. Four six nine. Four six nine. Three. Three. Correct. Okay. Now for the control count, I have this value, which is the average of three days in the twelve hour period. Okay, this value is what? Average of three days in the 12 hour period. Okay, I need the same for these locations as well. Right now, I have what? Four hour values. All these values are four hour counts. Okay, so first of all, I need to convert them into from four hours to what? How many hours in each day? 12 hours. Okay, so first of all, I need to convert them into 12 hours. Okay. Average 12 hours. I will do it in one step. Okay, so pay attention. You take the 4 hour value. Okay. Divide by the expansion factor from that hour and day okay so what my stop okay so this value was taken on monday 8 to 12 okay the expansion factor for monday 8 to 12 is 0 
so i'll take this value divide by 0.30 okay i'll put a bracket here so this value becomes what now 12 hours okay but it is still for monday because this was for monday so to convert into average i'll multiply with the adjustment factor of monday okay so 1.1 okay how much is this Seven five six. Okay, for <clears throat> uh, let me jump some values. Okay, so we are just doing it for practice. So I am going to choose them. Okay, so I have value of three thousand two hundred. Okay, so what's my expansion factor? Three one. Okay, so this will become twelve hours, and then I multiply by the adjustment factor of Tuesday. Okay, how much is that? Okay. How much? One zero six. Three. Okay, clear. Any questions? Clear? Okay. So you fill up the rest of the column. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now uh, this is the question. Tell me the equipment used for counting these values. Which equipment was used? Road tubes. What do road tubes count? Axles. Axles. Okay. Did we had some problem like this earlier? Sure. We're doing this, maybe. Hmm. But it happened. Okay. So it happened. Yes, in lecture two. Okay. So to convert the axle count to vehicle count, we have to do a manual study. Okay. In that manual study, you count. Number of vehicles according to number of axles. So this is the manual study. Okay, you can note one thing. I have ten points here, ten locations. Data is from ten locations. How many manual studies are here? Only one. Okay, so if you are in the same part of the network, one study is enough, and it will apply to all the locations. Okay, you don't have to change it. Okay, this this may have been done on any of those ten points. This is this is enough, okay? Now to convert the axles per vehicle, I need number of vehicles and number of axles. How many vehicles are here? One, two, seven, six. How many axles? So for axles, you have to multiply. Okay, two axes. How many times? One thousand one hundred. Three axes. How many times? One thirty and so. So you have to multiply. How many? How much is the total? Two seven. Two seven. Eight zero. Okay. Then tell me axes per vehicle. Two point one eight. Okay, so on average, a vehicle has two point one axles. One eight axles. On average, every vehicle has two point one eight axles. Now, if I come here, look at this point, location, uh, the location A. In three days, the average count is eleven thousand eight hundred four axles. Okay, this is axles. Okay, and every vehicle has two point one eight axles. So, how many vehicles? What will I do? Hmm. So what is that? 
5,100? 5,4,1. 5,4,1. Okay, same thing here. You will divide by same number? Same or different? Same. same. Okay. How much? Three, four, seven, one. Three, four, seven, one. one. And this one? Four, eight, seven, seven. Okay. The procedure is written here, what we have done. Okay, you can fill up the rest of the values. You can fill up this column when you fill up the, the last column. Okay, so first of all, all counts were for three hours, 45 minutes, meaning 3.75 hours. We converted them to four hours. Then we calculated the total and average for control count. And using that total and average, we calculated the expansion and the adjustment factors. These factors. Okay, then using those factors, we converted the uh, count from the coverage locations to average 12 hour counts. Okay, once we did that, then we went to the manual study, found how many axles per vehicle. Then using that value, we converted all values all average 12 hour counts to number of vehicles. Clear? Clear? Any questions? Okay, the values are here. You can complete the columns and check it. If you have a difference of plus, minus one or two, no, no problem. Okay, because you are taking ratios, it can happen with rounding off. Okay, any question? Okay, another important uh, concept related to networks is BMT. What is BMT? BMT stands for Vehicle Miles Traveled. Vehicle Miles Traveled. Okay, so you can see we have vehicles and we have miles. Vehicle means count of vehicles. How many vehicles? Okay, and um, miles means the length of the road. Okay, mile means the length. Okay, so you take the vehicles and multiply with the, with the length. We call it vehicle miles. Now the length can be in kilometers as well. So we'll call it vehicle kilometers then. VKT. Okay, so VMT, VKT. Same thing, count multiply by length. Okay. The uh, scale of VMT depends upon the count and the length. The scale of count and the length. For example, you see here, they are using eight hour count. So VMT will also be for eight hours. They are using the length of one link, one segment. So the BMT will also be for one link or segment. If you take count of 24 hours, BMT will be for 24 hours. If you take length of the entire road, the count, sorry, the BMT will also be for the entire road. Clear? Okay. So this is from one of the previous examples, these values. Okay. The three day study. We did it last time. So they took the values and multiply with the length. These are the VMTs for these segments. Okay. And then you can add them together. This is also allowed. This is also possible. It will be considered as a VMT of the entire network. Okay. So you can take different VMT values and add them together. It will give you VMT of the entire network. Okay. Now what does VMT represent? It represents the importance of the road, importance of the street. How important is it? Okay, a road or a street can be important because of two reasons, and both of them are included here. Okay, it can be important because of volume, so the count is included, right? In calculating BMD, the count is included. Okay, so one reason of importance. The other reason of importance is its length. Our highway may be more important because it is longer. Why? Why a longer highway would be more important? Yes. Huh? 
crosses more facilities or crosses more areas, more coverage. More coverage. Okay? So, uh, this is included. So, the highway crosses 10 kilometers. So, it is passing through the area in these 10 kilometers, right? If a highway is 20 kilometers, then it is passing through more areas. Okay? So, the coverage will also make it more important. And then we have the economic part as well. Longer highway means more investment, more expensive. Okay? More money. Okay? So, money matters. Okay? So, uh, these are the reasons of importance of the highway, the length and the volume and both are part of VMT. So, if the VMT is higher, that means importance is more. This is what we call the network flow map. When you have network volumes, volume for entire network, you can represent with a network flow map. So, it is a road map of an, of an area, the map of roads and streets in an area and the volumes are mentioned here. Okay. But in this map, we do the scaling of the roads. The width of the roads is according to the volume. Okay, so you can, for example, see this road. The width is changing, right? Okay, so the width is changing not because the actual width of the road is changing. The width is changing because the volume is changing. So it has less volume, this one has more volume. So this is wider, this is narrower. Clear? Okay. Then we have state-wide program. Now, we were discussing limited network studies up till now. So it was a network, but a limited network. Why limited? Because it was around a facility. Campus, airport, hospital, around a specific facility. When we say state-wide, that means the entire not, uh, road network of the state. Everything which is within the boundary of the state is part of the network now. Network of study. Okay. So in limited network, my focus was the facility around which the road network is. Here the focus is the entire road network. Okay. Now state, if you have a big country, then state means a province. For example, Saudi has province. US has states. The state means a state, a part of the country. For our case, a state could mean the entire country. Okay, you don't have to break the small country into more uh, parts. Okay, if your uh, country has a smaller area, you can see the entire country as one one part. Okay, clear. Okay, so it could cover entire country or a very big part of the country. When we when I say U.S. has states or Saudi has provinces, those are big provinces or big states. Okay, so even when you say we are just covering one state, you are covering a very large area. Clear? Okay. Hmm? Now, uh, so what are we trying to find out in statewide counting programs? Uh, we are trying to find out three things. For every segment, we are trying to find out AADT. What is AADT? Average annual data. So it is uh, annual, right? So how much is my time period? One year. one year. So again, a difference between limited network and this one. Okay. In the previous example, we did. How much was the time period? Yes. Huh? How much? Few days and not even the full days. It were they were few hours of those days, right? So. The time period for limited network study depends upon requirement of the client or the government or whoever. Okay? Statewide program, the time period is fixed. How much? Money. Okay? So the first thing they are trying to find out is AADT for every segment. Second thing is change in daily traffic in different months and seasons. How the traffic is changing between different months and seasons. Okay? So at the start of the topic, I showed you some graphs which were showing uh, different uh, patterns of traffic. Okay, so in those graphs, there were different lines for weekdays and weekends and different highways and so on. So they were, those graphs were showing you shift in daily traffic. Okay, so we are interested in that as well. And then third thing we are trying to find out for every segment of the road in the state, we are trying to find out vehicle miles traveled. Okay, so AADT, 
shift in daily traffic and vehicle miles traveled okay vehicle miles traveled gives us what the importance of the height okay before you start doing these studies you have to find out the functional classification of your road network okay now what what are the functional classification of the road network local yes collector arterial and all ha huh? when did we learn this high okay so uh by the way the example the previous example we did okay there were two steps from the previous lectures the example which we finished just now with the 12 hour count limited network study the excel counts previous lecture converting to 4 hours previous lecture so something like this comes in the exam don't start crying this is from lecture number 4 no from the previous lectures okay you are still crying no but not on this okay so first of all find out which highways are local which highways are uh, arterials and so on and so forth then for each type of highway you have to have some control counts and coverage counts for each type okay for each type segments must be control counts and some segments must be coverage counts and this is what i mentioned for limited network study as well the same point was mentioned in limited network study as well even within a small network or big network for every type of highway there should be some control counts and coverage counts you cannot mix that you cannot say okay hi i have two and that's it no those two are one is on arterial the other one is on local street okay so you don't have anything on the third type of highway so you have to make it okay every type of highway must be treated separately when you are making uh, control counts and coverage counts so now you already see there is some similarity between uh, state wide program and limited network study like i already mentioned one point we do the same thing for limited network study and state wide program that we establish control and coverage for each type of highway differently okay so what are the differences then one difference or both the differences are already mentioned period. time period for limited network study time period is arbitrary you, you decide okay based upon requirements and what else the coverage limited network study you are around a facility here there is no center point you are everything within the boundary you have to do it clear okay ideally we should have a coverage count or control count after every 2 miles after every 2 miles there should be either a coverage count or a control count on the road network except for low volume roads okay low volume means what this much this is called as low volume road so you can ignore it you don't count do you see the funny part here no the my smiling tell me what happened ha huh? he doesn't know but he is smiling yeah do you see the funny part here you don't i am saying this is a low volume road we don't count we can't this yes okay yeah. how would you know this is low volume you still have to count it right so you count it once okay then you feel stupid then you don't do it again got it ha huh? learn from your mistakes the moral of the story is learn from your mistakes clear hmm Okay. Uh, then the next thing is the ratio between uh, control and coverage. The ratio should not go above one is to fifty. Between control and coverage, the ratio should not go above, go above one is to fifty. If you have fifty coverage counts, then one control count is enough for them. Okay. More than fifty, then you have to make more control counts. Clear? Hmm. clear you have your entire road network some of them you are making coverage some of them you are making control 
okay so you have 10 control counts okay so the coverage counts cannot be i'm saying more more than 1 is to 50 so for example if you have two control so maximum coverage how can you have, how many can uh, maximum coverage counts you can have with two control 100 so the ratio will be 1 is to 50 if it is more than 100 if your number of coverage counts are more than 100 then two control will not be enough you have to make more clear okay clear okay one more change between uh, limited network and uh, statewide program is the subtype of control count there was no sub classification of control count in the limited network here we have we have permanent major and minor in a statewide program control count has three types permanent major minor okay this is a map which i found or got somehow don't tell me how don't ask me how but i got somehow in 2015 for the counting locations these are the uh, control count locations okay for Bahrain and they are along the major routes if you know the map of Bahrain which you should uh, but uh, these are along the major routes okay the uh, new construction which happened 2020 onwards is mainly along these routes the one which you see marked okay so He is my good friend, but right now we are having a class, okay, and we are late, yeah, he is on time, okay. What's the difference between permanent, major and minor? Permanent control locations, you have permanent detectors, fixed detectors, so they work without any gap, without any break, you have the full, full count for the entire year, clear? Okay, permanent control count, you have full count for the entire year. So we cannot do it without using a permanent detector. Okay. For major and minor control counts, we use uh, portable equipment. Okay. One of them already mentioned in the last example, the road tubes. Those are portable equipments. Okay. Uh, major means what? Major control count is taken every week, oh, sorry, one week every month. Major control count is that one which is taken one week every month. So you have one week of count, then you do it next month. Clear? So there's a big gap here. For minor, we have five days every season. Five days. So obviously when you say five days, it's a week days. Okay? So five week days every season. Okay? Now season doesn't depend upon weather. It's raining today, so let's do it. No. Season means every three to four months. You still have to plan it. You don't wait for the temperature to drop and rise. You plan it. Okay. After three months, you will do it. Okay. So season means three or four months period. Clear? Okay. Anything which is less than this, less than the minor category, we call it coverage. Okay. Anything which is less than five days in a season, we call it coverage. Okay. Because if it is this much or more, we will call it control. Clear? Okay. Last thing. Now, uh, again, we will do some examples. Not today. I'll just give you an idea about this one. Uh, but in all the examples, we are not using any new concept. We will just get, we will just be calculating adjustment factors. But just pay attention to how we are using the data. Okay. Now, this is the data from permanent control count location. What is the data for every day of the week? They gave me an ELD average. ELD average. Meaning what? They had the 365 days data. From those 365 days, they separated Monday, took the average. Separated Tuesday, took the average. Wednesday, took the average. And so on. Okay? So each number is the average of this day in the entire year. So on Monday, the average traffic is 1820. On Tuesday, is this much. And so on. Okay? Give me an average of these values. How much is the average of these values? One four three zero. I will call it 
ए ए डी टी वाई ईस्ट वैल्यू इज एन एयर डी एवरेज राइट ईस्ट वैल्यू इज ऑलरेडी एवरेज फॉर एन एयर बट इट वॉज फॉर स्पेसिफिक डेज नाउ आई कंबाइंड ऑल द डेज इट वॉज ऑलरेडी एयरली नाउ ऑलरेडी कंबाइंड द डेज एज वेल सो इट बिकम्स एंटायर एयर ओके इट वॉज एंटायर एयर बट फॉर ईच डे सो नाउ आई कंबाइंड द डेज सो इट बिकम्स एंटायर एयर Now, if I want adjustment factor of Monday, what did we do in the previous example? We took the average upon the traffic of Monday. Same thing here. Average means the daily average, the ADT upon the traffic of Monday. Okay, how much? Okay. Similarly, the for the rest of the days, A D T upon the values for the rest of the days. Okay, I'll show you the factors next time, but you can try it yourself. Okay, thank you.